But what we're going to test today is whether or not super glue will make the knot stronger, weaker, or have any difference at all. What's going on everybody? It's How To Tuesday. And on How To Tuesday lately, we've been tying a bunch of knots. We've been tying, showing you how to tie knots, but we're also using the, the tester to actually not only learn how to tie the knot, but also test the knot, which is something that a lot of people don't do. And in my opinion, that's the most important thing. It's one thing to know that you have a good knot. It's another thing to know how good is that knot? Is this knot that takes a long time to tie, is it worth tying? Or could I tie a quicker knot that's just as strong or even stronger? So that's what we've been doing on How To Tuesday. I've learned a ton. I hope you have too. And lately, I've been getting some questions about kind of myth busting. And the one was, my grandfather always told me that you gotta spit on your knot. Everybody's told you in all of fishing, everybody you've ever talked to that you need to spit on your knot before you tighten it down. It makes sense to me, and I think that it actually is a good idea because it provides some lubrication. The knot does slide down a little bit better, but I wanted to test it. So last week we tested it. We, we tied a bunch of knots where, we, where I spit on the knot, tied a bunch of knots where I didn't spit on the knot, the line, the number of turns, everything was exactly the same. And guess what? It was a very, very marginal difference for spitting on the knot. So your grandfather was right. You need to spit on the knot. That's great. Now today we're going to talk about something different. And a lot of people, when they start learning knots, they start learning about how to tie knots. They want to tie them better and better. So they want every advantage. And some people start moving towards the idea of putting glue on the knots, specifically super glue or Gorilla Glue or any type of glue like this, even some that is uh, activated by a blue light, which is um, a different type of glue altogether. But what we're going to test today is whether or not super glue will make the knot stronger, weaker, or have any difference at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie these in a series, and this first week we're going to tie the clinch knot. The clinch knot is a knot that I chose because it's a knot that slips usually before it, it breaks, and we tie the clinch knot right onto a hook or a lure. It's also one of the most commonly used fishing knots in the world, so I've tied three with glue and three without glue. We're gonna test them all, take the average, and see if glue actually makes a difference. All right, so we've tested three knots with glue, three knots without glue. The glue that we're using today is the Crazy Glue Super Glue. You can buy this anywhere, and that is what we chose to use. We are tying the knots with 12-pound Daiwa J Fluoro, and we tied three with, three without. The results are the clinch knot, no glue, 10.16, 9.25 and 9.25 for an average of 79.61% for that. And then when we use the glue, 10.51, 10.70, 10.98 for an average of 89.42. So 10% more, right? 10%, 79.61 to 89.42, almost 10% more just putting a dot of super glue on your clinch knot okay that that might be worth it i don't like the super glue i'll tell you right now i don't like it because i usually glue my fingers together and it's just one more step but you're in a fishing tournament you're trying to get the most out of your tackle the results don't lie 10 percent more by using a dot of super glue on your clinch knot i probably won't use it will you tell me in the comments next week we're going to test the FG knot, fluorocarbon to braid, and we'll see if super glue makes a difference on that one. 